Hi, I'm Carl Taylor, and in this episode, I want to talk to you about softboxes. Now, as photographers, we should all know what softboxes are. Um, they're very versatile light modifiers that we use to adapt our light to give it a certain look, and they come in all shapes and sizes. Now, what's exciting about this episode is this brand new range of softboxes. And the reason this is exciting is because these aren't purely aimed at commercial photographers like myself. They can also be used by photography enthusiasts that are using just normal flash guns. And that's because Broncolor, who've released this range of softboxes, have also released what's called a speed light adapter. And that means you can attach these softboxes to this adapter and use them with your speed light strobe uh, to create a studio lighting look with normal flash guns. But before I show you that, let's talk a little bit more about the softboxes and the range so I can explain the benefits and advantages of using them. Now, this is not a techniques video. Um, I did put out a couple of videos already using some of these soft boxes where you can see uh, techniques for using them, see what they can do for you. One of the videos is in, on our uh, Pro Series uh, page. I'll bring the URL up now so you can go and check out that video. We use a couple of uh, these soft boxes, the strip ones actually, for a, a whiskey bottle shoot. So you can see this used to good effect. Uh, and then another video that we've got, which we'll bring up the URL for on YouTube, it's actually been age restricted because it was a lingerie shoot and I think YouTube felt it was a little bit too saucy for them. So uh, it's an age restricted one, but you can see me using this big soft box and one of the smaller soft boxes in that video, as well as some of the other uh, lighting modifiers that I use. So check out those videos so you can see techniques. But what we're gonna talk about right now is the actual range of soft boxes, because I'm really impressed with what Broncolor have done here. They've bought out a very competitively priced range of soft boxes that are very well built easy to put together and pack really flat. And that's really important because when you're a photographer and you're traveling from job to job, having a softbox that packs up flat and small is ideal. In fact, this bag here is actually that softbox. So you can see how compact they go down to. Another great benefit with this series of softboxes is also that they've made different adapter rings. They've got adapter rings for fitting these soft boxes to say a Pro Photo light or an Elinchrom light or other brand manufacturers if you simply use these adapters. And also as I mentioned, importantly for a lot of you guys, if you're using strobes, speed lights, flash guns, they've got an adapter for that too. So let's take a look at some of the sizes and shapes of these soft boxes. They've got a very large variety of sizes and shapes. I've just got a few of them here. Uh, a small little octobox, a large uh, 150 centimeter diameter octobox here, uh, the 30 by 120 uh, strip light uh, rectangular soft box. I love this one, I use this a lot for my work. And then we've got the big giant window soft box which is a uh, 120 by 180 centimeter softbox. Now, other key benefits of these softboxes are they are super lightweight. I mean, really lightweight, fantastically lightweight, uh, but yet really strong and rigid. Now, why is being lightweight a bonus? Well, it's a bonus if you're using softboxes this big up on things like this, say, giraffe boom that I've got them on here. So this giraffe boom allows me to get my soft boxes or my lighting modifiers up high above my model for fashion shoots. And here you can see the big 150 is on this giraffe boom, no problem at all because it's so lightweight. And ordinarily some of the older design soft boxes were a lot more difficult to get up on giraffe booms without having to put extra weights on the giraffe boom for fear of it tipping over. So that's a big, big plus. Other benefits of the soft box range uh, as I mentioned, is how flat pack they go and how simple they are to put together. Let me just demonstrate with this one. I'm just going to pop this one together and we'll attach a speed light to it. So let's just take this soft box out, I'll unfold it, and there you can see the soft box. Let me get the speed light adapter. Now, Broncolor have also introduced this color coding system here. So each type of soft box has got uh, its own 
rods with a colour coded uh, end to each rod so you know which slot to put it in on the adapter. So really simple and easy to follow and really simple and easy to actually put together. So let's just pop this one together. So I'm going to put the red into the red, red into the red on there, red into the red on this side and red into red on this side. Then there's a little bit of Velcro just to close up the back of the softbox here and here. And do that one, bring that around that side. And that's it. That's our softbox put together. And that's it with the speed light adapter. So let me put that on a stand. I'll show you how it works with a speed light. Just take a lighting stand, pop the softbox onto a stand like so. And let's run you through this speed light adapter. Let me just get a speed light. Okay, so standard sort of flash gun, and it can attach onto the hot shoe adapter here, and then it slides into the softbox uh, adapter, speed, speed ring adapter here, and you can also adjust the height up and down on that connector there. Then you've got an additional hot shoe just here, in case you want to fit a pocket wizard or a triggering device to trigger the flash gun. Some flash guns have a built-in triggering device that uh, recognise the camera. Other ones you need to uh, put in an extra triggering device to send a signal to fire the flashes at the right time. So once you've got it all in position, you've then got your softbox uh, set up with your speed light and you can just simply trigger your speed light and then you've got the perfect illumination through a studio style softbox. Other great bonuses with the softboxes are that on the speed ring, the adapter, they still spin. So we can still position that how we want with the speed ring. We can also do that with obviously with them attached to normal studio lights. So here I've actually got these on the bronze color lights, but if they were on uh, Pro Photo or uh, Elinchrom or other brands of light that would still work in the same fashion. So that is also a versatile function. The other thing I really like about these softboxes is the spread of light is very even. If we take a closer look at how they're designed, they've got a simple Velcro surface adapter here. So that's your outer cover. And then inside there's an inner diffuser which is attached with these poppers like so and there's your light source inside and then there's this lovely silver lining to bounce the light around nice and smoothly and nice and easily and then that spreads the light in a very uniform fashion to keep it evenly distributed what's called a homogeneous light source so basically the area of light is even all the way across the surface however if you actually want to perfect that even more they do a third adapter, which is really interesting. So here's an additional uh, diffuser, a third layer that attaches over the top of the softbox around the outer edge. Again, it will just Velcro into position onto that softbox. And then that ensures that that light is definitely homogenous, evenly spread across the range by that extra third diffuser that you can put on it. Now, further to that, they've also got grids. Now let me show you what a grid is. Um, again it's a velcro attachment. I'll just attach it onto this rectangular softbox. So I'm just going to velcro that into position here and velcro it in on the other end. Now these grids are basically to control light spill, to control the direction of your light. Uh, sometimes when photographers are using softboxes in a studio environment the light might spread off and spill around the studio uh, in a fashion that you don't want. So you might end up with light spill on your background or other areas that you don't want to be illuminated. These grids kind of control the light direction for you and let it go in a more focused beam, if you like, uh, into the position you need it. I, I personally don't use the grids very often. I just use poly boards or flags to shield out areas where I don't want light spill. But a lot of photographers find these very useful. And as you can see uh, with that particular grid, it attaches in seconds, really, really easy to use. So basically across the range, 
a great variety of sizes of softbox here. Three diffusers if you want them, grids if you need them as well. They're very lightweight, they pack up very flat, and now you've got the convenience of using them with different brand manufacturer lights and also using them with speed light strobe flash guns. So hopefully you found that information useful and now you've got no excuse to not take studio style pictures with strobes and speed lights. For more great photography tips, training and videos, visit our website at carltaylorphotography.com. Thank you.